Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Arlene. Today we're making meatloaf. Yeah, what better way to celebrate Labor Day than meatloaf? As always, the recipe, the breakdown of the recipe, and the measurements for the recipe are in the description box. There's a little triangle on the right side underneath my name. Click on it and the entire recipe shows up. Everything you need to know about this recipe, it's in that little box. Okay, I'm gonna run you through the ingredients really quick and this is gonna be super simple and fast. You're not gonna be cooking all day. Okay, first thing we're gonna need is 95% lean ground beef. If you wanna use uh, another percentage for your lean, just make sure you check your measurements, okay? But today I'm using 95% lean. We're gonna use some egg beaters. We're gonna use some sugar-free barbecue sauce. We're gonna use full fat cheddar cheese that I'm using a blend. Uh, I'm using four cheese Mexican, but it needs to be full fat, okay? We're gonna use some scallions that I've already chopped, some fresh minced garlic and some onion powder. And that's it, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat your oven to 425 degrees, okay? Mine is getting there. It'll be in a few minutes. And let's get going with the ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna add my ground beef to a bowl. I'm gonna add my egg beaters, and I already have everything measured to make it easy. I'm gonna add the garlic and the onion powder. And the scallions. And we're gonna combine everything really good. Some people like to cook their onions before they put them in here. I don't, I don't mind them um, uh, a little crunchy, but if you like them cooked, just put them in the skillet just for a few minutes until they get a little softened. For me, that's not an issue. Now, I'm just gonna get in there and, uh, and mix all this together with my hands. The best tool that I've had in my kitchen is my hands. Don't overwork it because you don't want your meat to get tough. Okay, once everything is well combined, I'm going to grab my cheese and I already pre-measured. Some people like their cheese, they use it in a block, in little blocks. You can totally do that if you're using block cheese, but I prefer the, the shredded one because it's everywhere. Every single little bite that I take, it's going to have cheese, not just a few here and a few there. So now that everything is well combined, I'm going to add my cheese. And I'm gonna mix again. I just don't add the cheese at the beginning because I want everything to be well combined. Isn't it funny how we have one recipe and we always modify it to whatever it is that we like? Okay, now that the cheese is incorporated, now I'm gonna make a patty. And then using my seal pad, and I don't have to spray it because I'm using my seal pad, but if you're using aluminum foil, make sure you spray it or it'll stick because you barely have any fat in this thing. Okay, form your patty. Don't make it too thick because you want it to cook evenly. Pretty. And there it is, my little meatloaf. I'm gonna make a second one for my husband and I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. Be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Now that they're almost cooked, we're gonna add our sugar-free barbecue sauce and we're gonna top it off. We're gonna spread this and we're gonna put it back in the oven for about 10 15 more minutes and that is it guys my version of a meatloaf 
I'll show you a picture once I played it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Enjoy.